YTPC, Port Smoking Pipes here. <clears throat> Got a little Peter Stokeby's proper English from 9, 8, and 19. See what we get. Oh boy. Had a kid. Still got some earthy tones to it. No real sweetness in the in the aroma. Got out the grave old bulldog. One of two. Cracked out the shank on one of them. Pretty sure old Ford mistreated it somewhere. Figure I stuck it in my shirt pocket. Leaned over to do something and either dropped it or mashed it. Not sure. The only one that's ever done that. I did crack a, uh, the stem. Bulldog cracked on the shank, the other one. And then on a freehand, I, the stem will turn loose where the stem itself cracked. Both Dr. Grable. So, I took the stem off the bulldog. I want to call it a bit, but either way. And put it on the freehand. Laid the bulldog down with the cracked shank. Never done anything with it. Probably ought to get rid of it. So we got a bowl packed here. Get the lid put back on it. In my uh, revisiting of blends, going back, you know, carrying on the theme, something like that, whatever I called it, <laughs> I had some cellar blends, which I knew I liked, but I wanted to see what some age had done to them. So, let's get started. Now, Peter Stokeby's fresh, the proper English was never a sweet blend. I smoked a lot of it. I bet you I went through at least three pounds before I got even vaguely got tired of it. Can't say I got tired of it, I just explored other blends. That was my go-to every day for a long time. But in um, the evolution of pipe smoking, your taste buds tend to change and you gravitate to new stuff while you're trying to figure out what your steady blends are. Now, Also revisited Byzantium. Oh, the Byzantium of the Byzantium. Mainly in part to Cane Rod's little adventure 
on this Friday Night Live. aged well. The buttery leathery leather essence of it. A lot of Kia in it when it was fresh. Bordered on burning your nose. Head. Now, boys, it's just smooth as cream. Wish I'd stored back more of this. Of course, when I pulled out that Byzantium, I immediately got on the phone and started texting Cane Rod the day after his live, telling him about it. Telling him he would do well to store it back too. Yes, sir. If you're an English fan, Latakia fan. Use your stove to be proper English. Put some back, you won't regret it. Wow. There was a uh, bit more sweetness, fresh. It never had, and again, it never has been a sweet blend, but there was a bit more fresh. But you don't miss it now because it's mellowed in with the uh, Latakia. At least I don't. While I greatly enjoy a sweet English, and done several videos searching for them. There's some pepper. Phew. Yeah, there's some pepper. That retro hill had some and now it's gone. If you tug on it real hard you can force the pepper in a retro hill. Oh yeah. Peter Stogelby's proper English. There's some sweetness that I'm, yeah. You can dig it out if you're looking for it, or if you just want to take it simple and slow, just have a good smoke. So, this is the second attempt at the video. I got uh, bombed two times and after the second bombing I just shut the video off. I did circle back to Orlick 
Dark Strong Kentucky. <clears throat> that one's been in my cellar for a year. It's mellowed out 90%. The flavors are there, but they're really, really light. In my opinion, for my my way of smoking and my tastes, that's a blend. Again, the Orlick is a blend better smoked fresh. It's not a store bag. At least not for me. I went into much greater detail on it in the previous video. Needless to say, I'll mix something with that one and uh, finish that tin. But when I buy it again, it'll be smoked fresh. It won't be in multiple tins. However, Peter Stokeby's proper English will be purchased in a bigger amount and jarred. Same way I've got two quart jars of Byzantium. I plan on probably bringing in eight more ounces and putting it back. Something I've noticed with the Byzantium and the proper English in the mason jar, that lid seals up real nice on it. Pepper's coming back on it, down halfway down the bowl. So, if you're like me or cane rod and you like a little peppery kick to it, it's there. You want to sip on it easy and just take the smooth, it's there. Peter Stokeby's proper English for storing. Get the thumbs up. Orlick. USA. I give Or I give Orlick a sideways thumb. Won't say that it's bad. It could very well after being stored be a all day monotone smoke. You get a little bit of spice out of it, but the Kentucky mellowed out way too much for my taste. I want my Kentucky present. So there you go. Two blends in one video. Circle back. Figured that not only would I circle back to the ones that I didn't like, I'd check on the ones that I did like so I could tell if it was a tobacco or me or both. Been on, a, as you all know, I've been on a real burger kick, so. Mid 60s, cloudy, Sunday afternoon, had a thunderstorm last night, rivers are up, let it all drain off, oh 
CG from England is uh, taunting me with going fishing. But he's got to go fix his fly rod. Yes, sir, to the bottom of the bowl. And the ash is clean burning, white. No goop, no mess. Maybe old Ford's getting back to his English. Although I guess the Byzantium is a Vulcan. I don't get a lot of difference except for maybe the... It's a mixture ratio. Wish you all knew that. Yeah, the sweetness melted back in. A little bit of buttery. Not as buttery as uh, Byzantium. When Byzantium ages, that buttery feeling and flavor is, wow, it's really in there. So I guess this is a three blend circle back. Talking about all three of them. Two for the cellar. One for the shelf. Fresh. Get it, open it, smoke it. And the Orlick came sealed from the factory the whole time it's been in storage. Not overheated, not frozen, temperature maintained. Actually is a little bit moist. There is no tongue bite. What I like to do, what I tried with uh, Byzantium, I'm gonna try it with Peter Stokeby. When I get done, I'll stick in some uh, pack to pipe with Burley Light without a bite. I've found that whenever it comes in like that, the sweetness off the Burley Light without a bite. Ooh, boy. I really like that. So if you wanted to, you could come in, keep your English for your afternoon, or and then use uh, use burly light for an all day. Then hit it some English, then come back to your burly light for a dessert, a dessert smoke.
question I got. Has anybody tried uh, aging some of the hearth and home products? I'm just thinking chestnut might uh, might be well with it. After all, chestnut has Latakia in it. It behaves a lot like this. Fresh. That makes me wonder. I'd like to compare Peter Stokeby's proper English fresh against chestnut. See just how close they are. Pipe smoking has a lot of rabbit holes. You can just run down this one and you get tired of that. Run down another one. Something else. Have you all settled in on your style of pipe? Everybody goes through trying this one and that one, but is there just a certain style that seems to almost always perform for you? do I have a couple of them that I believe they're better with a burley but they're also just as good with an English it's the Virginia's that I find I've got to stick really closely to a certain style of pipe for me or the Virginia forward because I don't don't think I have any just straight Virginia. Well, we've either made it to the bottom of that bowl or I've let it go out. Give me a second, we'll find out. No, that's the bottom. Yeah. Found the ash. So, old Ford was going to the cellar. Organizing his, um, circling back and I found wait for it a pouch of cutter hole I'm not completely out however you know how I don't care for pouches but I was happy to see it a little bit of burly light here and see if it treats me as nice as it did following that uh, Byzantium. I'm hoping you got a big pipe going because this will at least be a pipe and a half video. A true video to smoke by. Of course, it may take me all night to get it uploaded. But if I do make it, and it's still Sunday, happy Sunday to you. Yeah, I packed that one real tight. Don't have much of a draw, and it's got a little whistle. Yeah, 
damn it. There we go. Hmm. Now last night, following up the butteriness of the Byzantium, and I have to take into account that I had habanero sauce today, so that might have affected my tongue a little bit. It was sweeter after it. Not as sweet following the proper English. But all the uh, flavors of the Burley Light is there. Very pleasant. Well, I'm going to get off here, being that I made such a long video. I'm going to finish this pipe. Y'all have a wonderful Sunday, and I hope you maybe learned a little something or at least enjoyed the circle back. Y'all be safe. Oh, forward signing out.